Sri Chandra Pitya and uh, Tata Tele Business Services. We are organizing today's uh, virtual CFO Roundtable Meet, Unified Communications and Collaboration Solutions for SMEs to enhance their productivity and profitability is the theme for today's Roundtable Meet. I'll uh, introduce to the panelists. Mr. Chandrakan Salamke he is the founder and president of SME Chamber of India and Federation of Indian SME Associations, as well as he is leading SME Technology Development Council. Next panel is Mr. Ritesh Seth. He is a managing director, Teleprudence Telecom Managing Private Limited. Mr. Sayyid Ahmad, he is a director and CEO, Techno Pension Life Care Private Limited. Mr. Subodh Nodia, CEO, Genesis Business Consultancy Private Limited. Mr. Sanjeev Kashyap, he is a AVP PowerWave Software Services Private Limited. Mr. Jagdish Rajani is a Deputy GM, SME Cluster, Tata Tele Business Services. And we have here Ms. Janis Das. She is a Deputy General Manager, PTL and Digital Marketing, Mumbai, Tata Tele Business Services. So I'll invite Ms. Janis Das to give her a welcome address. Enterprises have been moving fast on their digital curve and are embracing hybrid work culture that allows them to service their customers from anywhere and anytime. To meet this growing demand, we have strengthened our portfolio of services such as cloud-based communication, collaboration, IoT, data management, and cybersecurity. We have recently launched an advanced cloud communication suite by the name SmartFlow, which combines an uninterrupted flow of business communication with intelligent call routing and monitoring. We have also collaborated with Zoom to offer video communication solutions to enterprises. At the same time, Due to the ongoing COVID-19 restrictions that have necessitated virtual work from home, we Tata Tele Business Services has strengthened its enterprise solutions portfolio with SmartFlow, SmartOffice, UltraLola, Smart Internet Lease Line Collaboration, IoT, Data Management and Cybersecurity across industry. Thank you once again to all of you for spending your time and joining this session. I'm sure it will be a very insightful one for all of us. Thank you. I welcome at this CX roundtable. We know that you know the integration of the various technology and various ICT products is very very useful currently. So I think let us start with our discussion with our eminent members from the different different sectors. We introduce a lot of products, but you cannot really exploit the benefits of these advanced technology till the time the last mile connectivity is not addressed. What are the challenges in you know, a work from home, work from office, and uh, new solutions to come out from that? The gamut of product and service offerings is so large that we sitting at home or remote locations, we are not being showcased the best fit product line. There are two things. One is if there can be a proposition which is value-based, which talks about the cost and the benefits. I'm sure not only my company, but SMEs like us would be very glad to explore. The second point is if these applications can be integrated with the general proposition that companies like Tata Teleservices offer, it would be very interesting to us. I partially agree with that point and uh, I belong to a software industry where offshore development is also happening. So our backbone is internet. Internet is not that stable in India. We talk about a lot of software, we talk about a lot of collaboration tool, ERP. Everything becomes waste if you don't have a standard internet connection in your home. We are having two, three ISPs, but at times it fluctuates to there's like no downtime, but you cannot work also either. And by the time you reach to somebody, it starts working. So this keeps happening six months down the line or once in a blue moon. So are we getting what we are paying to the service provider? Is there any kind of thing? Because this will help entire SME industry. Because I feel that we are paying for the service which we are not getting to the extent. Why these Tata Tele business services is you know, sharing, spending time, putting a lot of efforts for the educating the entrepreneurs, their main workforce, their employees. We do not have a proper infrastructure. 60% companies are not having proper infrastructure. The biggest challenges are one is the awareness, second would be the affordability and third would be the customization. Each SME has a different requirement. A very critical thing that you must go in for is a router which has redundant link and if you have a middleware or the interface or the router which has a hot swap, if one link fails, it immediately jumps to your wireless and if you have a SIM card or maybe two SIM cards in your router, that should solve your issue. End-to-end -end solution with a dual last mile, with everything with a dual setup can be made available, which ensures that 
you have seamless connectivity but you need a proper guidance proper supplier you need a someone who can give you proper idea that what kind of hardware what kind of software and what kind of support services you need if you could facilitate a pooled procurement because it works best in vaccine business a b i think part of the package should be whenever there is an updated version there should be scope that it gets automatically updated that's something that uh, most of the companies are offering today every 2 3 years there is a major development and upgrade in the technology and the previous one becomes obsolete in the sme space a telecom service provider give you anything and everything in that whole piece on a opex model so you are not stuck with the technology telecom service provider take care of everything and you are also eligible for every upgrade that comes in what is uh, your message to the sme sector on the technological part my only recommendation to users is to have redundancies built in and uh, small amount of system integrator or an installer there are these routers which have tall antenna that really amplifies signals so having even 5g sim card in your router will take you a long way in terms of business continuity as an entrepreneur i would be more concerned about the pnl so anything capex would mean i will have to capitalize it whereas anything going into opex i expense it out so from a pnl perspective i would always look at something which has more of opex than capex four points awareness and hand holding affordability customization and last but not the least we are highly concerned about security and breach if we have a the services on a opex model which will reduce the burden of my capex one two is i don't have to upgrade it every time the technology changes and technology is one subject which changes frequently so i think that is one important practical approach